Well, the fiscal cliff now less than 10 days away. Congress and the president both on Christmas break, and President Obama and Mr. Boehner reportedly haven't spoken since Friday. Still no deal in sight. Fox's Jennifer Davis has the latest from Washington. The Senate stands adjourned until 10 a.m. on Thursday. Congressional lawmakers have gone home for Christmas. The president is in Hawaii for the holidays, and the country is still racing towards the fiscal cliff. That's the reason there's so much rage about this. I mean, my goodness, why can't Congress and the president get together and get this resolved? Staff discussions are underway between the White House and Capitol. The latest deal on the table is a scaled back offer from the president. It would prevent a middle class tax hike, protect unemployment insurance for two million, and delay debate on other issues. We move forward together or we don't move forward at all. What the president has offered so far simply won't do anything to solve our spending problem. Some say if the country goes over the cliff, the middle class will be hurt most, having to pay $2,400 more in taxes. People are facing tough financial times right now. They're going to miss that money. And you know who they're going to blame? They're going to blame the politicians in Washington. But as hopes dim for a solution before December 31st, others are starting to look further out. A lot of uh, people on both sides of the aisle who are committed to their philosophical points of view uh, think that it's better to let this thing go into January and February and try and work out a good deal from their point of view than to rush something that they don't feel would be that great. It's not clear exactly when the president is returning to Washington, but he did tell reporters he would see them this week. In Washington, Jennifer Davis, Fox News. It's time for the news.